Hello, hello, my melodies. Welcome back. We are here for part two of the Waltz triplet, three part of the booster box, really. <laughs> the second part of the booster box. We've got the remaining packs here. Of course, we had stack number two on the left, so we're going to head and grab that stack, and then we have to reverse it because we want it to be an order that was in the box. Um, you know, different from what we're dealing. So we're going to go ahead and shrink on up, and we're going to reverse the stack here. Now let me know which pack you think is going to be the best in today's video, 1 through 12, or you do the um, 2 through, uh, what is it, 2 through 24, I guess, is that what it's going to be? We'll figure out how to do the math in the triplets, maybe not. So we got uh, pack 2, pack 5, um, pack 8, is that right? Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. Pack 11, yeah, plus three to each one, right? Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking my own brain. There was too much math. We had to pause here. Okay, we're out of it. We're out of the, the weird math thing. Let's go ahead and um, make sure we re-roll the BPM zone. There's the cheat card that I usually do. We're slot, doing slot number 10 today. Okay. We're doing category number one, which is HP, which works very well with slot 10. And we're looking for the highest HP in the last slot of the pack. So even if we get like a rare card, um, something that doesn't have like a, a number or retreat cost or whatever, like it's going to have an HP. So that's going to be good. Um, of course, unless it was a, or it's a trainer then it doesn't have HP and it can't win because we're looking for the highest one. That would be a zero, right? <laughs> anyway, let's pack, let's get into pack number two. <laughs> but the first in today's video, there is the code card. Now the first stack had a lot of good stuff. If you haven't seen that video, go back to watch Monday's video. Um, there was a lot of good pulls and I'm not sure what's left in the box, honestly, for us to end up pulling and have fun with Kafa Grigas, Pashu Berry, and a Tapu Coco for 110 or 120 HP. We'll put that up there in the compare card spot. And then pack number five of the box. There's code card for everybody. We have Execute, Mankey, Swablu, Rotom, hanging out. Shout out to Rotom over here, one of these little guys. Um, Altaria, Vivalon, uh, Eevee, Reverse, Reverse Palkia, and then a Landorus. Landorus has 130, so that'll take over the compare card spot. Put that over there. I feel like there's a lot of cardboard debris in these packs. I'm not sure what that really means. I know um, some of the comments from you guys on the other videos were that uh, you weren't really happy with the quality control. Um, I haven't seen too much like issues. We have a Latius, we have a Coridon, Nine Tails, Scatterbug, Semiseer, Skeledurge moving up into the active spot for compare card. That's 180. We are going to have to hit a, a double rare or higher to be able to unseat Skeledurge there, I think, because that's probably the highest that a Stage 2 will go. Maybe there's a 190 Stage 2 out there. Got Relor, Cilio, Clobopus. I'm still looking for those illustration rares. We have Mousehold, Meowstic, Callbell, Chinpal, Clobopus, and a Gastro, Gastrodon for the evolution off of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried that I pulled all this good stuff in the first stack. Um, the first one of three. So, we had an illustrate or special illustration rare. We had a, um, we had a full art. We haven't had any illustration rares. Okay, so, illustration rares. We're gonna manifest it, right? Clobopus, Satotl, Turtonator, Counter Gain, Altaria, Spupa, okay, Don Fan, Chin Pal with 120. It's kind of funny, I'm sorting out all of the, uh, just the regular hollows with the, <laughs> with the compare card in today's video. BPM zone, battle professor mark. I do need to, uh, I need to renew my professorship here soon. So hopefully I can, uh, 
Hopefully I can pass the test the first time, not have to worry about it. We have Fluorite, Nine Tails, Relor. There we go. Cerulege, beautiful illustration rare. Man, look at those colors. I mean, I think there's a, there's a little bit of synergy there with the colors, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can get some of the shine on that card to really kind of show the ripple. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, and then we have a Tropagos with 120. Not gonna take over the compare card. It'll stay over there, but we'll get Cerulege in the MVP section, hanging out, having fun. Blastoise, get the party started. Of course, if you get in the MVP section, you are all MVPs, so you are more than welcome to come hang out with these amazing Pokemon guests. And uh, we have Icy's and Slurpees and Slushies. All the name brands, all the non-name brands, all the homemade snow cones, pretty much anything and everything you can imagine. We, uh, we've got icy treats for everybody. Now I discovered um, there's a, like a smaller ice cream called Dr. Bombay or something, and it has um, the orange, like an ice swirled into the rest of it. So occasionally I'll do, I'll do an ice cream and treat myself. And I found that and I was like, woof. Having the ice in there with it makes it, I think, that much better. So I like it. Um, unfortunately, you have to go at Kroger at like certain times to be able to find it. And then everyone has found out about it before me. <laughs> so ends up, uh, even if I try and treat myself more often, I can't because it's out of stock. But if you find it, go ahead and try it. I like the, I like orange sherbet and, um, ice or vanilla ice cream. I like the orange swirl types of stuff. Um, I guess in different parts of the world it's probably called a creamsicle, but yeah, it's what I like. It's what I like from my childhood. Uh, we got Larvesta Zerud with 120. Boy, a lot of the rares have 120, don't they? I guess if they're basics, right? Then you get the stage twos that get up there. You get a higher HP. We have code card for that one. Got a Quaxwell. All well the Quaxwell. I don't know. Is that a duck? There's a duck joke in there. Duck, duck, goose. That's kind of funny. We're doing the triplet, right? Duck, duck, goose. So it's the second duck and not the goose. I don't know. <laughs> you can tell my brain is a little bit all over the place. We have Grafaii and then a Milotic. Milotic, Milotic, Milotic. Beautiful, beautiful, just yeah, I like I like water Pokemon in general, and then you get some of those other fun colors to counterpoint the blues. You get the oranges and the the uh, yellows and the reds and the pinks. Just a fun one. Of course, let's see what print all damage and effects from your opponent's Terra Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Okay, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Ooh, okay, that's kind of a that's probably a fun deck. You get a. You get some of the other blocking Pokemon, like, um, like a Mimikyu, and then you block the bench with uh, your Manaphys and maybe uh, maybe Jirachi out there. Of course, you pair with the uh, the Rapska that does both. Hmm. Might be a fun deck to put together. Okay, we got a uh, Crocolore, Drayton, Kilowattrel, Ho Oh. Kecleon with beautiful artwork. Yep, that's my favorite artist. Could pull them out there. We got 140 for that one. Um, oh, I guess the uh, the Milotic was there. So we're going to do... I almost forgot about that. Milotic is winning the Compare card. So we got to put him up, up in the right spot. But he's also in the MVP. He's got to be on stage for a little bit. He's doing karaoke, you know, before he gets to the rest of the party with all the slushes and the Icy's. And the Slurpees. The Slurpees are where the uh, the best part is at. Um, I do have some items on the way for some holiday redecorating behind me. Um, so be on the lookout for that in the next couple of weeks. We'll switch over to a oh, double executor there. We'll switch over to a fun um, holiday themes. I think uh, I think Nikki found some ornaments as well that were uh, either Pokemon theme or me themed. <laughs> <laughs> get some uh, some more childhood favorites for candy and stuff like that. I don't uh, don't always get to indulge in all the sweet stuff, but we are uh, still got fan favorites, my favorites from a childhood. So 
we can celebrate them in ornament form, right? <laughs> Got an Oricorio, Bronzor. This is the last pack for today's video. Quaquaval, Sandigast, Flapple, and a full art. Lysia's Appeal, gorgeous. Um, is it full? Yeah, full art, not the secret illustration rare, but a beautiful, beautiful card to end. Okay, well, we got three in today's video. First illustration rare of the set and our second full art. So lots of good stuff in this box. So what do we have? We had um, one, two, three, four, five in last video. Now we have three in this one. So I'm not sure if we're gonna keep having stuff in the third pack, but or the third stack. But come back on Friday, come hang out some more, open up some more Pokemon cards with us. Surging Sparks is fun. Um, and we're gonna get to the Sparks part of the triplet on Friday. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it out with other people who like Pokemon. Um, I'm a growing channel, so I'm still trying to get better and I'm doing uh, new editing and new stuff each week, trying to, trying to get better just for myself and for all of you. So I wanna have a better experience overall, so stick around. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. Hopefully I can put a smile on your face at least a little bit for each day. <laughs> Remember to keep singing the song in your heart. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.